Here we are again. Another fall has happened. Madden is still providing the perfect 6 out of 10 fantasy football experience. And no, I do not call it a football sim. It is fantasy football. But that's another video. Another topic for another day. Honestly, I've been doing this for 13 years, and one of the things I used to do was a little series known as the Scythia Rants, where I used to sit here and be a illiterate, immature little bitch about pretty much anything video game related. I'm no longer an immature bitch, and I no longer like to rant about things. But there has always been one topic, one, that has eluded my ire. One topic that I've held back my thoughts for nearly 13 years. And one game I haven't talked about in totality in those 13. No, not Mega Man. Shoot, if I talked about that, I'd be gushing over it all day long. And you'd think I'd be some saccharine fool. How sugary sweet I like the series. Even the bad stuff. No, 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 no. And not even things like microtransactions and Ultimate Team. I don't mind it. You want to know why? Because I'm smart enough not to use them. See, I am not prey to Ultimate Team. I am Ultimate Team's predator. They give me challenges. I dominate them. I steal their money. I do their dailies. And I get the heck out of Dodge. I'm the predator. I'm not the prey. There's nothing to say. No. The subject of this video and the subject of a decades plus ire is Call of Duty. No, no. If you think this is going to be some saccharine bullshit, another rant on skill-based matchmaking? Nope. Is it going to be some rant about the white papers and how Activision builds its algorithms to prey on you to go to the store? No. Is it going to be some saccharine rant on how Call of Duty was better 15 years ago? Nope. Because neither of those things and those takes are relevant or smart. No, it's not about neither of those things. The two things, two, killing Call of Duty have nothing to do with activism. It has nothing to do with Ricochet. It has nothing to do with SBMM. It has nothing to do with all the things you hear about. No, no, no. The two things killing Call of Duty is nostalgia. The thing that kills all established franchises forever and a day. And the community. Or should I say the lack of backbone from the community. The lack of true love. You see, Call of Duty doesn't have fans. They have exploiters. No, they don't have content creators. They have fools with mouths to feed. No, they don't have discussions. They have self-fulfilling prophecies of 
cycles and foolish notions as they choke each other out in the human centipede of life as I stomp them out with fire like my name was Ellen Ripley. I wish I could suck these people out of the goddamn airlock so that they could stop disturbing me and my presence and the love for my game. You see, it's you guys' fault. Plus, this unspoken notion that no one will say. Because it doesn't fit into any narrative. It makes everybody look like fools. And, you're never going to get a player in the high-end community to even tell you this, or the medium end of the community. Because it doesn't apply to them. See, the only people that you're going to hear this from are me. Who am I? Well, for years, I've been in your Call of Duty lobbies. Silent. I don't speak. I don't text chat. I don't use proximity chat. In fact, I mute the whole room. You want to know who I am? I am the low-level player. The low-level player that never gets the interviews, never gets the videos made about them, but I and players like me get all the excuses for why Call of Duty is bad. We are the boogeymen, and we're coming to get you, and we're coming to steal your fun. You blame us for the way that the matchmaking works. You blame us that Call of Duty is no longer fun. You blame us for every little mistake for the shop being the most important thing for Warzone taking over multiplayer's importance. No, no, those things are not true. That's just how time goes. If you want to blame anything for all of that, <laughs> heck, don't even blame Fortnite. Hell, don't even blame Plug G. Blame League of Legends. That's the game you should be blaming, but you won't, because it's too intelligent for you, because your brain cells don't work. No, you blame us instead. Why? Because we're an easy target. You want to know why Call of Duty has become catered for lesser players. It's not the algorithm. It's not engagement-based matchmaking. It's not doors. It's not safe spaces. No, 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 no. It's none of those things. It's not patents. No, because that's overthinking the room. Have any of you ever thought that the major problem with Call of Duty and why Call of Duty doesn't feel the same is because it's changed mechanically? That the core way that you play the game, the options provided, accessibility, gunsmith, career class, perk, movement, Everything over the last 20 years has lessened the skill gap by your argument. It's the same argument that fighting game fans, a genre that I'm actually a part of, complain about. Why they say simplified audio combos and modern controls have made fighting games too simple. Yet, I can't get one 
I can only get two characters past Silver in Street Fighter 6, and I use Martin controls for most of them. Sure, it makes the game easier to play mechanically, but it doesn't make the game easier to play mentally. Or preparedness. It doesn't automatically give you the mental awareness to be a better player. To make that block when you should, or overcommit to a combo, or not commit. Martin controls and accessibility doesn't do that. Doesn't aid you in that way. No. But changes to the mechanics. Changes to the way that the game Coral Wrestling plays. Changes that. And before any of you claim, well, you only play the Martin Claw duties. No, 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 sir. Wrong again. My first Call of Duty was Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. My first multiplayer experience, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, in which I became a third prestige there. Modern Warfare 2, fourth prestige. Black Ops 1, I got the 7. Black Ops 2 was my first 10. I cried when I got it. I took the last couple of years off and returned for World War II and got 10th again. Black Ops 4 got 8th. Modern Warfare 2019, I played all the seasons, unlocked every battle pass, and have multiple golden guns in multiple categories and even diamonds on my account. Modern Warfare 2, a lot of the same thing. Modern Warfare 3, currently level 425. No, despite my disability, despite the fact that I have one bad hand, Despite the fact that I went several years, depending on perks like Martyrdom and Juggernaut, just to get one simple kill, I have been in the lobbies with you, suffering. My skill-based matchmaking has never changed. Because my skill-based matchmaking I've had since day one-ish. And it makes my entire life miserable. And yet, you want to talk about going in the rooms with sweats. I wish I could be a sweat for one day to know what it feels like to drop a tactical nuke on somebody. If I ever did, I'd retire. From the godforsaken game. Because that means the game's gotten way too easy. And I've done all there is to do. No. Me. I'm now a four kill average. I've got more double digits since quote unquote skill based matchmaking has been added into the game that I ever did back in the olden days. But no matter if it's the olden days or the new days, it's still help. And you make it help for all of us with your constant YouTube videos, with your Constant criticisms with your mockery in the rooms. With listening to people like Ghost of Eight. You make 
being a Call of Duty fan, a player, an embarrassment. You make us ashamed that we built this game. You make a mockery out of your own love. You say you want to improve the game. The best way you could improve the game is get the hell out of its way. And allow people to enjoy it. The few that do. The few like me. The few that you think the game has catered to. I have never been catered to when I play a video game. Call of Duty hasn't catered to me. I haven't gotten a sponsorship. I don't get free COD points. I don't have a creator code. I don't have skins made of me. I'm just a disabled gamer that's forced to listen to you bitch about a game you supposedly love. And you, by doing that, make me ashamed to be a fan of the very thing. But yet, in a month, I will be going for my third 10th prestige using classic rules at age 40. A thing, an accomplishment that has caused me more mental health, mental damage, more mental dismay than any video game should ever do, but yet I'm going to do it again. What game is that? Because I love this game. Despite the mental damage, despite how socially disgusted it makes me, I'm going to do it again. Why? Because for a disabled person like me, 10th prestige isn't a badge of honor that you can just get within the first two weeks. It's a grind. Every gold camo is a grind. Everything you do is a grind. Just getting five kills is a grind. But the game, adding sliding, omni movement, five attachment weapons, a full Full gunsmith with multiple attachments. Some games have multiple and double perk sets. And the perks have gotten more useful than ever before. I remember when the most important perk you had to have was stopping power. When I could only have a L86 LSW with an ACOG scope of four grip and a stock. It would recoil all over the place. Where I had to give up a hundred round clip. Where the decisions that I had to make to become a person of power, a person of threat, were substantial and limiting. Now in Modern Call of Duty, there's hardly any limits. That is why the game is easier. It's not matchmaking. It's... Making matches to your play style. It's easier than ever to play Call of Duty. Not just for me, but for anyone. My friend David came back today after years of not playing the multiplayer and started riding a bike. He couldn't do that if he played Call of Duty like I did back in the day. When a game is limited mechanically, you replace mechanic with skill. When more mechan when a game becomes mechanically deep. Skill becomes the victim.
Tom. Because what good is skill when somebody can go to a YouTube video and circumvent it? What good is skill when you can build the perfect class setup and save it in a blueprint? What good is skill when a weapon that could break the meta is just one battle pass unlock away? Skill has diminished. Not because players have gotten better. Good night. It's because players have been given too much. And to be honest, we don't deserve a game like Modern Call of Duty. Because we, the community, don't appreciate every part of our community. Because for some of us, we make it way too hard, we make it way too easy to complain about the people that make it way too hard. Find peace. And play Call of Duty. Don't listen to the hate.